I can give you the same questions that I give my girlfriend. <laughs> what questions? The the long distance couples questions. <laughs> what? Uh, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, questions to help build intimacy in long distance relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Welcome back, everyone. We're playing Battlefield 5. Blaine's here, too. Hi, I'm Blaine. I hate this game. He does not like this game. There he is. With all my that's heart. Blaine, and that's me. He doesn't even have cosmetics. What a lame lame -o. What a lame guy. For real. Bring up these questions, bro. I'm actually curious. The, the 50 questions to ask your long-distance boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. To keep things intimate. Ooh. To keep things intimate. Yeah, because we're long distance now since you're moved. You're all the way over at Little Town, Littlefoot. Yeah. Where you where do you live? Leadville. Little Rock? Leadville. <laughs> here's the here's the first question. First question, let's go. Um Are you happy with our current level of emotional intimacy? I think there could be more. I don't see <laughs> I don't see uh I don't see as many ass fucking pictures as i used to that's true you used to send me ass uh pictures every I week i do take them though for my girlfriend that's it that's why it's because you 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 prioritize your girlfriend sending ass cheek pictures to your girlfriend instead of me i actually did send her a little little sus shower pic while she was in public <gasps> i thought it was funny <laughs> that is kind of funny i had soapy balls second question no you have to answer too huh you have to answer too what is this <laughs> Oh, the, am I happy with our level of intimacy? Yeah, the first question. Uh, I am not. I want to be yeah, yeah, yeah. closer. However, um, I've been working literally like all day. <laughs> you see me do that? <laughs> no, there's this fucking MMG camper that I headshot killed him. Get out of here, get oh, out of here. I, did you just teabag him? <laughs> um, yeah. But I've been working on homework. Like oh, literally damn, all day, enough. every day. I feel um, that. Yeah, I've just been too busy. You've also been too busy to, mm -hmm. to pursue deeper intimacy. Wait, what? I believe. <laughs> yeah, I've just been doing job and homework and, and yeah. Yeah. Um. I, mean, I like this gun. It's a good gun. Come here. What is your favorite family tradition? I don't believe in traditions. You don't? Traditions are lame. Mm -mm. I like the tradition of getting popcorn when we go to the movies. Yeah. Because every time we go to the movies, we get popcorn. You just not have Third. any family traditions? Or? We, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any. <laughs> Sorry, mom, if you're watching. And she's like, what about this or that? And I'm like, I don't know. Since I've been out of the house, I haven't really, it hasn't really come to mind. Do you have any family traditions? Uh, when we're on road trips, we try to eat um, things that will mess up our stomachs the worst. Because <laughs> um, uh, we know that my mom hates the smell of fart. Oh, that's actually, that's really funny. We try to fart in the car only when she's in there. And if you fart when she's not in there, my dad yells at us and says, save it for your mother. Um, oh, that's, that's your favorite tradition? It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, uh, oh, this isn't really like a family tradition, but it is something that I do with my family or to my family. Um, I, you? I call my mom every time I get drunk, uh, just to let her know. Just to let her know that you're drunk and, yeah. uh, and doing the exact not behaving appropriately. What she wants me to do. Yeah, she wants you to let you know, like, let her know that you're okay, but instead you're like, yep, yeah. I'm irresponsibly... Uh, uh, drinking. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally, yeah, when I was drunk the other night, I accidentally called David Stewart. David! <laughs> That's funny. Um, I haven't talked to Davy Stewart in so long. He called me the next morning and was like, Do you remember calling me? And I was like, No. I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. I think I meant to call my mom. That's the only person I call when I'm drunk. Or sometimes I call Ella. You, you call me sometimes. You've called me a couple of times. Yeah. Or maybe I've called you. Oh, what do I say? Maybe do I say do. something good? No, <laughs> you're just annoying. <laughs> I like you better when you're sober. Yeah, that's probably true. I yell a lot when I'm drunk. <laughs> like yes. everything, I'm just like, yes! Yes, I love it so much! Um, 
<laughs> you get white girl wasted. Yeah, dude. dude. But I don't drink white claws. I ain't no pussy. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, I drink Coors Banquets like a man. Blaine is the legal age of 21, by the way, yeah. audience. Definitely. He is. And he is not 20 or 19 or 18. He or is even in fact, 17 or 16. Uh, 20. No, he's not. He's yeah. uh, he's actually, I'm actually much older than which is 16. He, yeah, he's a lot older than 16. So, just so you guys know. Um, Penis. Oh, I actually hit him. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, just to make her mad, that's some of my favorite family oh, traditions. I remembered uh, every Christmas, uh, my mom, my brother, and I would go to uh, Who Hot for oh, dinner. Oh, Who Hot's so good. Oh my god, it's so it fucking good. Makes me good. feel really bougie to do it as well. Oh, I love it. And I always feel like the same thing every time, even though like there's so many options. Uh, would you rather be the best player on a horrible team or the worst player on a really good team? Best player on a horrible team. Really? Yeah, because I'm guessing uh, since you're on a horrible team, you're in a bad league too, so you end up scoring more points. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. I always want to be the worst player on the team so that I learn from everybody else. Oh, see, that's that's you're thinking more long term, but I'm like, yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, it's interesting how some of that stuff works, like mindset. Like you're used to being the best player on the team, and we carry everybody because you play with me. Uh. Um, <laughs> but I'm used to being the worst player on the team, which makes me more prone to like being in that situation, I guess. Dang, you're really getting into the psychology of these questions. Well, yeah. For the viewers, of course. For the viewers. They're gonna miss out on so much of our amazing psychology if, if we don't if we don't tell them. We need to start talking about like astrophysics <laughs> and stuff and like really complicated things. That'd be really <laughs> funny. Neil deGrasse Tyson plays Battlefield 5. What's the next question? Uh, do I make you feel loved and supported? Yes. Yes. Because every time I call you on Snapchat, you usually pick up. I try to. Unless you're drunk or sleeping. Or both. Or both. Which happens sometimes. That does. What about you, little man? I definitely feel loved and supported. Especially <laughs> since I'm really bad at communicating. So, like, whenever we do stuff, it's always good that you are like, Blaine, we need to do this now. <laughs> Every time I'm like, Blaine, you ready to record? And he's like, I'm not even awake yet. <laughs> For real. And I'm like, Blaine, come on, dude. Come on, we scheduled this like days ago. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm like, please, wait, wait, I'm setting stuff up right now. Uh, Would you go to jail for something that I did so that I could keep living my life? <laughs> oh, shit. Probably not. I don't know. Depends on what you did. That's true. If you're, like, going in for pedophilia, fuck that. <laughs> you're going to jail, son. Son, you're kidding me. You're going to jail, and I'm not even going to look look back. <laughs> However. Oh, get fucked. Damn it. However. If it was like, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't go to jail for you, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it would also depend on what it is. But there is a situation, I think, where I would I would take the fall for you. Ooh, good. That's why uh, you're my friend, is to use you. Because, well, like, since I'm older than you, like, if you were caught with, like, illegal substances Drugs. in your car, Drogas. I would... Definitely, I would rather have a uh, DUI than you get like a DUI and an MIP and like all this different stuff. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Hey, <laughs> don't revive the guy I just killed. Dingus. <laughs> dingus, dingus. Ooh, I'm gonna start launching bazookas. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is the moment in our relationship that you felt the most loved? Oh, I don't know. I, I pretty much zone out every time we hang out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be like, I don't know. When we did the hike, that was really fun. Even though it was mostly like me and Brad hanging out. Oh, I was up like, in the we stuck trees together as a pair. deer and shit. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. With, oh, dude, yeah. When we when we went when, uh, in the morning hike, but then when we walked yeah. down together <laughs> and you talked about Dragon Ball Z and how shitty the it Dragon is. Dragon Ball Z is trash. It's <laughs> not uh, animation intensive. Damn. It's not plot intensive. They reuse 
um, animation just to make episodes longer. The <laughs> yeah, that was probably the, the best time. Like, just the most fun hanging out with you. Just because we were just dicking around doing whatever. And Brad, it, Brad and somebody were <laughs> off in the trees yelling about Blair Witches. That was me and, and him. That was and on our way up. And was flirting with Kaylee. That, yeah, that did happen. That was funny. Uh, that was a fun hike. And then we played Fortnite. Yes. <laughs> beforehand. We put I was all of his so TVs tired. In, the, in his garage. <laughs> we put all of his TVs in the garage. And we had like two Xboxes and two TVs. Yes. <laughs> and we got a full squad because it was split screen. That was fucking awesome. That was the only time I had like fun in Fortnite. Oh, so good. <laughs> I would say my favorite was because we didn't really hang out a whole lot before last summer. Um, mm -hmm. It was me and Brad and Brayden hanging out together during um, musicals. And then like I, I would just keep saying like, bro, we need to hang out with Thomas. Thomas is so funny. I want to hang out with Thomas because Brad and you were friends, but you weren't friends <laughs> with the rest of us at the time. Yeah, I wasn't in the group yeah. yet. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. What was I doing? I was in like the big group with Isaac Martinez oh, and, Jake, uh, and Jake and stuff. <laughs> I was in that big group, but that was like, <laughs> that was when there was like politics and shit with the women, with the women. Mm. So like, I just didn't get involved. I just played Xbox all day. And then I hung out with you guys. And then that was really fun. I, I actually talked to Delaney the other day, um, and we were reminiscing the times when she and Taylor and Aubrey used to uh, punch each other in the head, like during off block. <laughs> what? You don't remember this? Oh, we would no. sit outside and share music with each other, and then uh, they would start like beating the absolute shit out of each other, and then start laughing about it. Yeah, those people, those those freaking people were crazy. Uh, <laughs> they were I wacky. I just thought it was funny that we were all laughing about it. Yeah, senior year was maybe maybe the most yeah. fun. Because sophomore year was really fun too. Ironically, I that think was, I had. Okay, yeah, dude, that was the year. Like that was the year that we first like actually hung out, just you and me, because because uh, we went to the the gun the gun uh, strike or whatever. Oh, and we. Do you remember that? Mr. Krabs is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. <laughs> cause, cause one of the girls at our school did a wanted to do a rally at the the town hall to, I guess, um, increase gun control in the town or, or something. <laughs> and then another like another dude, his name is Caden, I think he he started a, another rally at the same time at the same place, <laughs> but for uh, flat Earth awareness. Yeah. <laughs> and so obviously. Like, he was joking, he wasn't gonna go through with it, but I was like, Brad, you and I need to do this now. And then at some point, I think you got roped in too. Yeah. So Brad made these uh, Krusty Krab uh, signs, like the, the, the picket fence signs or whatever. Um, and then Brad got uh, in school suspension, so he was like, guys, <laughs> guys, Please. take take the picket fences, go on without Keep me. Keep the dream alive. <laughs> and I was like, Brad, we'll do it in your name. And then we we went and we got popcorn and fruit punch and then <laughs> we fucking drove to town hall. The and, police um, showed up and tried to get us It was a perfect ratio. Yeah, the cops showed up and we're trying to get us to get the hell out of there because we're, we're <laughs> it was funny because there it was a perfect a one to one ratio of people who were there for gun control <laughs> and people who were there for fucking SpongeBob platter. <laughs> that was the best. Uh. And that for that poor girl, we we offered her. Popcorn yeah. and fruit punch, but she wasn't having it. She, it wasn't she a good really turnout. wanted the cops to tell us to leave, but the cop was like, "I, I can't I, tell them to leave because they're exercising their <laughs> right to free speech or something." <laughs> yeah, we're just dicking around. You, you can't deal with us. Somebody calls me something horrible. Do you let me fight my own battles or jump in and defend me? Oh, I jump in and defend you, hundred percent. Yes. It's not. It's not like the the jail one where I'm like, ah. <laughs> that one. This one's like, yeah, I totally defend you. Yes, I'd probably defend you too. I kind of probably. <laughs> I wouldn't fully defend you. Uh, you're not. You're not really good with conflict. You don't like conflict. I would like tag team with you to attack them. <laughs> Usually, anytime like you'll be yelling at somebody, there's probably a really good reason to be yelling at them. Mm. I trust your yelling judgment. Who or where would you haunt if you were a ghost? 
<laughs> I'd haunt you. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, where would I actually, like, I'd probably haunt, like, a Taco Bell or something random. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Just, like, fucking turns on the dishwasher. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I think that'd just be really funny to fuck with. Uh, I guess it's hypocritical because I was always like, don't don't mess with minimum wage workers. But as I'm a ghost, I'm fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> don't abuse minimum wage workers, but it's okay to, te the, to poke and prod them. It's okay. At least when you're dead, then they can't really do anything to you. <laughs> Plus, I'd like help them out. I'd like, I'd make, because if like a customer dropped the coins, like in between where the window was at the drive-thru, I'd like float the coins up when nobody was looking like that would be pretty cool yes like <laughs> i'd be like kind of a dickhead ghost but like i i have your best interests in mind when it comes when it comes to it yeah 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 i think hmm. if i haunt anywhere um the stanley hotel <laughs> i think i would have to haunt like a like an airbnb but not in like a scary way like a, like a, like I want to be one of those guy, those ghosts that you can see, but that can't touch you. <laughs> You're just a vision. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a dude in my bathtub. Yeah, and I, like, I won't even like acknowledge that they're there. You should just. I feel like if you were a ghost, I could just see you being in a fucking random apartment, but like. You're eating ghost cereal at like 2 a.m. I'm eating Count Chocula <laughs> and like... <laughs> what is that? Just like some, some ethereal like blue cereal. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, hey. Hey, how's it going? Like, oh, don't worry, I, I don't, I'm not gonna haunt you or anything. I'm just here. What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? Oh, uh, let's see. I gotta think about that one. Because you dream every day. So it's hard to recollect that. That's true. I never remember I my used to dreams. Have I used to, okay, so sometimes, I, I haven't done it in forever, but I used to be able to like dream of the future. Like, like I dream about something random, like a snippet, like five or 10 seconds of something happening in the future, like completely randomly, but it's like months in the future. And so like, whenever it does happen, all I feel is like extreme deja vu. Wait, Toss, come revive well, me. Yes. Okay, okay, hello. I get the same thing I'm though. not gonna get sniped. I feel like. Have you? That's crazy. Yeah. I wonder because my dad. I told my dad about it, and he was like, "Yeah, I get that too sometimes." But I only see images. <laughs> I don't see like video clips. No, I get like I know exactly what people are gonna say and stuff. What? But it's like, I'm like, I'm so unfazed by it at this point that I just go along with it, and it's not like I could say anything different because then it wouldn't be the future. Yeah. You know, like what I'm gonna say is what I'm gonna say. Anyways, it's crazy. But like, it's like totally like just random shit like it'll be me and my parents driving in a car and we're talking about fucking chips or something yeah for <laughs> so it's nothing like crazy important but i always thought that was crazy and weird what kind of weird dreams do you have blaine i don't think i'm legally allowed to discuss that on the internet <laughs> well it's cut content let's go <laughs> cut cut content cut part content. seven <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no holding back um for those of you who are watching this is <laughs> Blaine's is getting censored right now because of the material. <laughs> there, there was this one time, uh, I was just like beating the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> uh, That's not bad. But I had like a massive. <laughs> Describe uh -huh. me in three words. Blaine. Atchison, gay. Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay, what are my three words? Thomas Abinger, booty hole, hyphenated. Booty hole, two words. You can't it's say that one. It's hyphenated. It's one word. It's no. It's not. No, no, that doesn't count. It's two words. That's four total. Blaine. Fine. Try again. Uh, funny, awkward, oh. horny. <laughs> horny. I dig it. Why am I awkward? I'm never awkward. I'm always on the ball. <laughs> I've seen you try to talk to women before. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, I had to do it to him. You are offered a pill that makes you 50% more intelligent, but permanently removes your hair, including eyebrows. Do you take it? <laughs> so you're like fucking one punch man of smartness? Yeah. Fuck that, that's gay. <laughs> My hair's really long right now. 
I'm kind of digging it. Ooh. Which directly leads you... into the second question. You didn't even answer. <laughs> You're avoiding this question because I know you'd fucking pick the baldness. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about it. You already have. Think about it. Think about my intelligence level and how amazing a 50% boost would be. And I get to look like Saitama. <laughs> you gotta remember that, uh... It, you know, it scales with, uh... Whatever your smartness is. So if you're the more smart, the, the more smarter, the smarter you are, the the more smartness you're gonna gain from the pill. That's true. So you have marginal return from this. Yeah, but like fifty percent increase is still <laughs> is still pretty good. Just saying, being half smarter as I am now. Half smarter. Yes, I think. I think would have enormous tax benefits. You could get those, um, you could get those nose glasses, like the little, the nose mustache oh, glasses. Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about. The little, like, and then that way you can at least have some hair. facial hair. Uh, do you consider Bro. yourself materialistic? Yes. Yeah. I do. I like money. Um, and I think everybody should be materialistic because that's how our economy has raised yeah. us. They put fucking chemicals in the water. Commercials to make the on frog skate. They put chemicals in the water. <laughs> <laughs> They're making the freaking frog skate. I can't do that voice though. I still destroy They're my throat. They're making the freaking frog skate. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm materialistic. But you, they like they fucking put commercials on children's cartoons, so you you act like people aren't gonna become materialistic from yeah. birth. That's just how it is. We live in an, in a, an economy in which uh, consumerism is is always supported. So well, yeah. we really just said we live in a society. I would not consider myself materialistic whatsoever. Mm, but you're bad with money too. That's true. I'm materialistic, but I I actually save and stuff. Yeah. Phineas, you're fucking lighting them up. Damn. <laughs> For real. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> well, and like. I, I keep having the same existential crisis, which is like, why do I keep working uh, if I'm just gonna die anyways? Oh, shit. Well, because you work to, en to enjoy the good parts of life. Yeah, but it's stupid. Like, why do I have to be born into a world where I have to work for happiness in the first place? Mm, it's a hard truth that you gotta accept eventually, man. Yeah. It's like, uh... I don't know. If you die, you have nothing. You have no potential yeah. as, a, as a dead person. Which means you have no potential to have to sit through boring ass lectures or doing menial tasks. However, that also removes the potential for you to actually do fun shit. That's true. Whether that be <laughs> driving to, to Salt Lake City <laughs> or, you know, doing this or that or, or playing video games with me or, or, you know, eating a really fucking good burrito yeah. you know so sometimes the bad outweighs the good but you gotta remember that you know everything has ebb and flow and working hard you know does eventually lead to a positive turnout yeah it's that's the whole reason why like when i went to college last semester i was like bro i'm not having a good time i need to leave because <laughs> oh, like, yeah. in my eyes there wasn't a good reason to be there and i finished it out but i feel like that's gonna be a lot better now that I'm in the fire academy just because like every piece of information that I learn is directly applicable to my job yeah it's good to see your end goal in mind yeah fuck I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my degree when I finally get it I'm still looking at jobs and stuff but <laughs> cause you just have a business degree <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna have a business degree but in my field, uh, you can get jobs pretty much doing anything. Yeah, because every everything needs business degrees. Buddy. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> One second. There's a guy behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Although too late for that, Blaine. What's something uh, you misunderstood as a child and only realized much later was wrong? The birds and the bees. <laughs> That's a funny... Let's see, um, it's, it's like that, I was like, I was today years old when I realized this is that, yeah. you know, it's like that thing. As I'm getting older, I realize how much 
shit cost. Yeah. I guess. But that's a common one. I spent like 70 bucks at the at Walmart today. Oof. There's it's like 14 bucks for some shredded cheese. That's a lot of money. Oh, dude, you know what? Huh? Guess how much a fucking can of spam costs. How much? You gotta guess. <laughs> this is Jeopardy. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. Higher. Really for spam? For a can of spam. It's four bucks. Yeah, it's fucking four bucks for a can of spam. The big can or the small can? Like your average, like I don't know, three and a half inch wide can. Okay. No, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, especially for what it is. For for spam, for canned meat. <laughs> for not even no way good home canned spending meat. Four bu I thought it'd be like maybe a dollar or two at Walmart. It's fucking four bucks. <sighs> I wish spam was more affordable because it was it's like it started out as um, like army food, didn't yeah. it? And like Vietnam or something. Mm -hmm. And then Hawaiians really liked it. <laughs> Hawaiians, that's true. Oh, they do like pineapple do. and spam on everything. Yeah, freaking Cretans. There's a reason why we freaking exiled him to the island. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us on this episode. Um, I have been Blaine, um, and my co-host Thomas is over yeah. here. Make sure to subscribe, because only a small portion um, of you guys are actually subscribed, no way, which makes me... Wrong. Don't subscribe. Do not like the video. <laughs> I don't no, want to play. Don't listen to Blaine. Don't, don't listen to Blaine. You have to subscribe. I, no, listen, I, I need subscribers, man. Stinks. I it's need, stinky and I yucky. need subscribers, dude. You don't understand. No, Thomas. <laughs> it stinks. Play. Please don't we're make at, play We're anymore. almost at 50 subscribers. We need 13 more. 13 more. I think we need 13 more. As of the time of recording this. You can have 13 as a treat. As a treat. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, uh, and we'll talk to you later. Toodles.